Hey everybody, we're at the hospital because, well, the due date is this Sunday and it's Friday right now. And this right here is my baby's heartbeat. And she said that between 120 to 160 is normal. And for a while it was like 165, 170. And I'm like, well look, it's above normal. And she's like, oh, it's okay if it goes over for a little bit. I'm like, oh, okay. And then it went back down. Now it keeps... She says 120 to 160 is normal. So we're watching the baby's heartbeat. And uh, yeah, she's got, my wife's got some pain. So we're supposed to, they just said, hang out here for 30 minutes and see what happens. I think they should do an ultrasound and see what's going on in there, but they're not. You Americans might find this interesting. This is the, it's not the delivery room, it's the room where you wait to deliver. When you come to the hospital, you go in this room and you wait. That's a door, the machine's there, my wife's here, got a nice big screen TV here, and then, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's like an exercise ball for the woman or something. It's going to exercise ball, Lamaze ball. Nice couch for the husband to sit on and wait. Telephone, water. See? So it's like a hotel room. She, she, my wife has the whole room to herself. And this is all free because it's Taiwan. And Taiwan, like every other first world country on the planet, has free health care. You know, there's only like... Hey everybody, it's Mardet13. My wife's water just broke. Well, it broke about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago. It's uh, 1 o'clock in the morning. I went to bed at roughly 11, so... Or, yeah, something like that. I went to bed at 10.30, 10.40 to be exact. Fell asleep right, pretty much right away. And it is... Um... 1.20, so... Yeah, well, anyways, I, got, I, slept, I slept about two hours. And, uh... Now we're driving to the hospital. And it's nothing like the movies. Every movie you see, the woman's water breaks and the man starts running around panicking and then the woman starts panicking and they, you know, jump into a car and speed to the hospital. Me and my wife are just like casually talking and telling jokes. She's making fun of me because uh, it's the week, it's the weekend. You know, I just finished work and now I, I gotta spend the weekend sitting in a hospital waiting and not sleeping. Um, yeah, so. So no panicking, everyone's calm. Having a baby is not anything like in the movies. She started, like, she went into, she went into, she started con 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 contractions, like, you know, when you kind of, like, start getting regular contractions, going into labor or whatever, at, like, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And then we, uh, I came home from work at, like, 7. She's like, yeah, I've been contracting for the last two hours, steady. Ah, cute dog. So, um, yeah. But she's like, okay, well, let's eat dinner first and then we'll go to the hospital. And I'm like, okay, fine by me. So we, so we ate and then uh, we went to the hospital and they're like, okay, well, your contractions are eight minutes apart. Um, come back when they reach four. And they said, you'll probably be coming back later on tonight. Cause that was like, I guess, uh, I don't know what time that would have been. I guess we got home, I was in bed by 10.30, so I guess we left there around 9.30ish. Yeah, I had, I had techno in the car, so I took the techno out, because I didn't want to scare the baby out or anything, so I put in some soft, easy listening. This, this spike here is a contraction, and each each one of these squares is a minute. So this is a contraction, and it lasted about lasted about a minute. Yeah, Ooh, yep, minute. Anyways, so then it goes down, and then we're gonna count how many of these squares we get until the next contraction. And if it's in the four to five minute range, that means we're about ready to give birth. 
turn the camera on again when the next one comes out. This is, uh, we're back again. We went home, we slept for a couple hours, and then had a sh and then, yeah, and now we're back. Yeah, so, I don't know. The whole having a baby thing is taking a bit too long for my liking, so I'm gonna go home. <laughs> car is cool. It, it lets you know how close you're getting to things. It shows you this little diagram. Let's you know. Turn back on. Don't. See, if you ask me, I'm going to hit that car. But according to this, I'm not. So, so I can just trust it and pull out, which is cool. I thought I would have hit it. I was gonna, I was gonna back up again, and you know, like I was gonna back up and go forward again. But uh, according to this, I didn't need to, so I just trusted it. And lo and behold, I didn't hit the other car. Uh, yeah, so she's, I don't know, she's in labor, but it takes like when you know, water breaks, you go to the hospital, and then you sit there for like 12 hours or so, and then you go, and then you push for one, and the baby comes out. So. So, uh, you know, it's no, there's no point in me uh, sitting there for the next 12 hours and not sleeping because by the time the baby finally does come out, I'll be too tired to meet it. I'll just be like, yeah, okay, just leave a message or something, you know. some sleep and uh, take the dogs out in the morning because they need it in the morning and then and then I went back and she's still a while away from delivering but she's still she's in labor she's well not I don't know I don't know the term she's, she's she's having contractions like she's got contractions every six minutes and you give birth when they get down to like every four minutes so she's only <laughs> two minutes away from giving birth uh, anyways yeah but they said it's gonna be another you know, at least three, four hours. So, it's, you know, instead of this, she's got a TV in the room with her, but she didn't. She wanted to rest. She she wanted the TV off, and she wanted to rest. So, so I'm like, fuck, no TV. I'm out of here. So, <laughs> well, no, she wanted to rest, right? So she wants the TV off. So she doesn't want to talk with me. She doesn't watch TV either. So, so she's just like resting her eyes and and you know, waiting for the contractions to get closer. So, and uh, and they said I could buy her lunch. So I had to leave regardless to buy her lunch. So I just came home, and then I'll. Take the dogs for another walk, and then I'll head back. Oh yeah, and I'm I'm updating sh stuff on my website for those of you that don't know. M13online.com. Easy to remember. M13online. That's it. And uh, these posts, I've been I've been putting them up as as the night's been going on. And if you don't know, I got a forum right here, and the forum is is cool. It's a good forum. I've been on a lot of forums in my life, and honestly, like this one's really enjoyable. People are friendly and. Uh, We've got different <coughs> different topic areas, so that's my avatar. Anyways, yeah, check it out.